to be here in Long Beach where Richard Pryor did his show 25 years ago and where I spent my 80s and 90s watching live in Long Beach is just phenomenal. You know, I'm ready. You know, I didn't look at any notes because I, I just think it's all in me and it's everything I've ever wanted to do and it's the right time for me and, and I could not be more ready and more excited. Five, four, three, two, one, music. Must be successful. You can get Mexicans to get out of their chairs. Cause we never get up. No, I'm not gonna get up my feet. I can. I have certain. Look at my veins are popping out. I can. I don't want to stand up because they're gonna take my chair. I don't even belong here. Watch out. I snuck a bottle in. Wait a minute. I just want to thank you guys for coming out and this special is for all of you people and everybody watching at home and for Richard Pryor. All right, Richard Pryor. <laughs> Richard Pryor did a special here 25 years ago that I watched every day and my grandmother would say, quita ese negro cochino. <laughs> Porque dice you a todas? No, hombre, ese negro es... No, hombre, con el... Dios, no. And then she would tell you things that you didn't know. When I was young, I went out with a black guy, but he didn't talk like that. He was nice. Pero tenía el Winnie, guau. Sometimes at night, I can still feel it when I'm sleeping. Me pega como un a Charlie Horse. ¡Ay! And I walk like that, pero I, it hurts and it feels good at the same time. Like when I was with him, los dos. You know, my grandmother, my grandmother is really the reason why I started to do stand-up. She's 84 now. Ya thought you were worn out. Ah, my life. You know, and the one thing about old Mexican people is they never want to admit that they're getting old. Grandma, you should use your cane. No, I'm all right. Look at the way I'm. Right. <laughs> you can tell I me. Mean, I don't want nobody looking at me. That's why I cover my bone with my dress. Eighty-four years old. And she doesn't want to use the oxygen. She has oxygen on no, me. I mean, I'm all right. I can breathe. <laughs> you ever seen a fish that jumped out of the bowl and he's laying down? <laughs> but when you fight, she's there. Tell that bitch. With my grandmother, everything was no. Grandma, no! You don't even know what it is. Yeah, but I know what it's not. And you couldn't talk back now, kids talk back, you know. No, I won't! I won't! And the mothers, they don't even hit the kids. Listen, you t listen to here, Piper. I will not. Are you listening to me? Dakota, I'm talking to your sister. Piper? 
My grandmother would give me a putazo. Stand right here. Stand right here. Step. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I barely touch you. I bet. You can't even touch him because right away he starts crying. Why are you crying? My ear is bleeding. Look, it was bleeding before you got here. I didn't want to tell you. Why are you crying? That, that's all the moms would say. Why are you crying? I barely touch you. I'm going to hit you for real. Come over here. I'm going to hit you for real. Mira. My grandma used to hit me, man, for all kinds. I want ice cream. You want ice cream? No. Ice cream makes me dizzy. Because, mira, if you want ice cream, I got 31 flavors. I keep going. You want some? One time when I was six, she backed into me with the car. She was back in a pang. I was a... And what did she say? Get out of the way! And they would try to bribe you to walk. Hey, you want to go to McDonald's? You want to go to McDonald's? Then walk right. You want to go to McDonald's? Then walk right. Walk right. Walk right. Lego twinkles. Mira, they don't let kids that walk like that into McDonald's. Walk right. Look at show off. You can't even touch him with a car because right away, what's it? And now that I grew up and I made it, she's all in denial. Oh, oh, I never hit you, liar. Oh, I can't believe that you tell that people I used to hit you. Mira, I'll get your hair and I'll pull it. I got arthritis. I can't grab you no more. Pero... Because, you know, the, the fact that kids get hit now, my daughter's uh, almost eight, never been hit. Maybe once. My wife doesn't know. Maybe once. <laughs> Just to see how it felt. <laughs> but only white mothers are ever arrested in America for beating their kids. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> Amateur. Amateur. They don't know how. They don't see the cameras. There's a hidden camera. You see the coat. Courtney, you get in the car. Mexican mothers, mira, I know the camera's there, what's that, yeah. <laughs> but they can't hear me, mira, when we get home, te vaya a dar un putazo. <laughs> gonna... I can already feel it in my hand, I can feel it. I'm gonna come off the ground, I'm gonna hit you so hard. They ever take you in the change room to beat your ass? No, I won't! Come on. All right, we're gonna go try this on, okay? Don't run! Don't run! Yeah, don't run! Move your hand! Move your hand! Move your hand! Move your hand! Move your, you stepped on my corn, you Move your hand! And then when you come out, how did everything go? It didn't fit. Come on, son of a bitch. Everything was no. Birthday party? No, get birthday party. Mira. You got a lot of things already. You don't need a party. So you can show off? No. Why are you crying now? No. Chuck E. Cheese. You want to see a mouse? Pull the refrigerator out. Mouse back there. 
Pull it out. Watch out by your feet. By your feet. You saw him? Happy birthday. You saw him? Why are you crying now? He went into the chair. You saw him? Those better be tears of joy. You saw him? And you know, the thing is that she would never buy hot dog buns. For whatever reason, no, I mean, that's loco, hot dog buns, that's loco. Get a piece of bread and fold it. Get a, get a piece of bread and fold it. Mira, it's the same. The same. Whenever she wanted to make a point, she said everything twice. Mira, it's the same. The same. Mira, Roman meal, sauce, hot dog bun. But she would always buy the Franks, you know, but you know, Mexicans don't call them Franks, they're white people. Uh, J uh, Joan, I think we should get some Franks. <laughs> get the ballpark because they plump when you cook them. <laughs> Fantastic. What do Mexicans do? Hey, 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 Feo, go get some weenies. <laughs> go, get <laughs> go get some weenies. Mira, get the weenies, the one that get fat when they get hot. Come here. One time I had one and it got big. It reminded me of the negro when I was young. I didn't even want to eat it. I just looked at it. I got it in the freezer. Go look. When it was your birthday, that's what you got. Cut up weenies with scrambled egg and tomato sauce. Happy birthday. Happy. You didn't get a bike. Happy birthday. And you couldn't talk back. So they would yell at you. Mira, no. Means get the, mira, get the hell out of here because right now I got one strike. I got two to burn. If I were you, I'll get the hell. Get the hell. And you couldn't talk back. All we could do was this. You'd walk away and you'd walk to, talk to yourself. I never do nothing. That's all we would do. I can't do nothing. I didn't hear you. I didn't say nothing. I'm going to go get I can't wait for her to die. I live in the streets. I don't care. Who I felt sorry for growing up, because my grandparents raised me tough, was the, the dogs that we had. Big Mexican dogs. When I was growing up, the way we got dogs is you were sitting in the front yard and a dog went by. Mira, está bonito, wow, look. Did he have a collar? If he don't have a collar, get him when he comes back. Go get a weenie and get him. Tear it in pieces till he follows you in the backyard. Give me another weenie! And those dogs weren't like members of the family, like in white people's families, you know, they're pinching the Christmas card, the family. I saw this lady at work that had a picture of her dog with a Christmas hat on and his legs were open. That's biscuit, yeah, I can see. $3,200 bill from the vet. She was crying. <laughs> How could you put a price? He's like a member of the family. I put a price on his ass. Our dogs, Mexican dog, when they would get sick, you would see them in the backyard. With a fly in each eye. Mira, go, go give him some seven up. Put Vicks on his chest, put Vicks. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Look at, he's moving, he's moving.
If the dog was really sick, we just took him for a ride, you know. <laughs> when it got dark, we took him for a ride. But we always took him to a better neighborhood. Mira esta bonito, get him out right now. All the cars are painted the same color. What the... And then people would say, hey, what happened to your dog? He died while you saw him? You saw him? No, you didn't see him. He died. Dogs were just dogs. They never went to the vet. We never went to the doctor. You think the dog was going to go to the vet? I heard. We will not go to the doctor. That's why, please... Instruct your kids, teach them how to dial 911 because I know a lot of people probably left their kids with their moms and grandmothers. And I'll tell you this, older Mexican people aren't in the best physical condition. <laughs> Babysitting is this. Hey, be where I can see you. <laughs> My uncle had a heart attack and the only two people around were two three-year-olds. So he's all crouched up on the couch. I, I can't breathe. I, I, and they're and they're making fun of him. Deal. I, I can't breathe. 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 I, I can't even breathe. I, I can't even breathe. I, I can't even breathe. I, I, I can't even breathe. I. Go get your tia. We're not gonna laugh no more. We're not gonna laugh. Tell her I got a pain in my chest and I can't breathe. Hey, tell her, tell her I got a pain in my chest and I can breathe. And he's like this. So your tia's outside talking to the lady in the other house with the fence. And they already told you your whole life not to interrupt, so there you are. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, oh, um, Grandpa told me to tell you that he wants the ice chest and beef. <laughs> what? So they come in the house, and there you are, Toti, now, ay! What's the matter? Vieja. I got a pin in my chest. I can't breathe. So when you need them, all the that you've done wrong comes out. And now she's like, oh. You got a pin in your chest. And you can breathe. Also, I'm not stupid no more, huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Say no. I can't hear you. No! Shut up. Don't yell at me. I'm right here. So now you need me. But before, you don't need nobody, right? You stay with me for the kids, huh? But now you got a pain in your chest and you can't breathe. And now I'm beautiful. I'm not fat no more, huh? I can't hear you. I'm not fat, huh? You got a pain in your shit. Don't fall asleep. Wake up. You got a pain in your chest. And can I can breathe? Yes, you can breathe. Hmm. Why don't you call that bitch you were dancing at the party with last night? Call that bitch. Call her. You got the number, I found it in your shoes, call her. Put the phone down, Put the, leave him like that, leave him. Put the, don't get involved in my business, Raymond. Put the phone down. You don't know him, he's a faker. Leave him like that, you don't, you'll snap out of it. Turning blue, leave him. You know, most families talk about good Well, I graduated from Stanford. And uh, it was a very successful law career. Mexicans, hey, tell me about that time I got electrocuted, eh? <laughs> tell her, hey. Tell her, what the? Tell her. Hey, sabes que? My feet were wet. 
and I touch the wire. <laughs> and you know what, Sasuke? Hey, I got up, hey, I got up. <laughs> and I didn't spill my beer, watch out. Because, hey, because when the electric went through my body, my mind told my hand, hey, you got a Heineken, what the... I live, hey, I saw the light, but it was a van coming, boom. You know why? Because we never hire an electrician. Mexican, we get shocked all the time. You plug in the lamp. <laughs> we all have a lamp that you've tried to throw away for 20 years. I'm about to throw it or something. You'll be driving to a neighborhood. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, look at me. That I'm throwing away a lamp. Está bonito. Oh, my God. Está bonito. Wow, mira. They don't have a cord, but it's nice. Watch out. I can pretend to read, mira. Look at my eyes pretending the light's on. And now I turn it on, watch it. So the lamp is always on. And it doesn't have a shade, it's just a bulb. And when the bulb burns out, you know, we don't know what kind of light. My grandfather was from Mexico. He put a halogen light. And I told him, Cuco, I don't fit. Come look, I don't fit. Watch it. And you could hear the lamp. Ah, ah. Hold the bottom. Hold the bottom. Ah, ah. It's gonna fit, mira. It's gonna fit, you know. Ah, ah. And he turned it on. And that's what you're. Seared. I'm blind. But you couldn't tell him anything. Como con el es a hell of a I'm seeing that. So the light was always on. And then the bulb is about 2,000 degrees because it's never turned off. So you lean in. Now you got a round circle dot and it smells like carne in that room. Hey, save me some. Remember that one? Save me some. Hey, what are you guys eating? Save me some. What do you got there? Huh? Rice? Save me some. So you're burnt and then at the barbecue on Sunday, your grandma, hey, come over here. What have I told you about tattoos? <laughs> what have I told you about tattoos? That you don't like them. That I don't like them. Y todavía you got a tattoo on your arm. The other arm, stupid. Who's Sylvania? Who's Sylvania? Don't tell me you don't know. Who's that bitch? It's una negra, Sylvania. That's a black name. That's a black name. Sylvania is nombre una negra. Don't tell me she's not black. It says Watts right at your arm. And they raise us to be insecure. So when we grow up, we're, we're the wait for me people. You ever seen those? Hey, wait for me. Hey, hey, don't go, hey, don't go, hey. No, for real, hey, wait for me. You ever seen a Mexican without a jacket? That's because we're afraid to go get one. You're not going to wait for me. I don't need a jacket. I'm going to go, hey, don't wait for me. 
It's gonna be cold. I don't need a jacket. If it gets cold, I'll go like this. Watch it. Wait for me. Go get a jacket. No, because you're not gonna wait for me. <laughs> Give me your car keys and I'll go. <laughs> and wait for me comes from the time we're kids because all your mom is yelling at you. Hey! Hurry up! Because we're not gonna wait for you. Hurry up! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait for me! <laughs> wait! <laughs> Son of a bitch. You got all day to you right before we leave. Let's go. How come you're late? Because Mr. Kaka had to go to the bathroom. Son of a bitch. I told him to outside. It's the same thing. The same thing. So when somebody travels by themselves, that that amazes me. Because Latinos don't go down don't go down the hall to get a blanket because Cuckoo is in the closet. <laughs> go get a blanket. No, I'm not gonna go. It's dark. All Mexican people have a haunted room in their house. You have a two-bedroom house. One room is haunted. You got the living room, the master bedroom, and the cuckoo. Cuckoo. No. You ever run by and try to turn the light on when you're running? <laughs> Look at that stupid ass. Turn that light on! <laughs> different people, totally different people. Because we will make up words that don't exist. Burly, you know Burly. You know Burley? I'll use it in a sentence. Hey, how long have you been here? We just barely got here. <laughs> and just everyone knows. Hey, they barely, didn't you hear them? They barely got here. How about, I know, huh? I know, huh? Last night you were all up. I know, huh? You ever been so drunk you started the car twice and then... Uh, uh, and you hear a knock. It's already on! Uh, I know, huh? You know, we're just totally opposites. One thing you have to understand about Latinos is that we're opposite of everyone else. And I'll tell you where I saw it. I was in a market and a guy was backing up and he was going to hit a pole in a, in, a, in a Lexus SUV. And a guy leaves his cart and runs, oh my God, hang on! Oh my God! Oh my God! Are your rear sensors not working? You almost hit this pole, oh my God! I ran 86 yards to stop you. I'd get that to an authorized Lexus dealer as soon as I can. He stopped the dude from hitting the pole because he saw it happening. Mexicans, you know what we would do? We would stand back, we would let this. Hey, watch what's gonna happen. Did the flash come out? And he hit the pole and bam, you start laughing. Palo! Check him out, hey, look at his face, look at his face. Check him out, hey, look at him. And what do you yell? Hey, I know somebody that can fix it, eh? <laughs> Completely different.
different thoughts, you know. We drink, first of all, we drink way too much. Hey, I didn't say it was a bad thing, relax. We drink, hey, and still, I still talk, I'm hurt, that's scary. When I was young, what the You go to a kid's party, there's more kegs than kids. A two-year-old birthday, the two-year-old. And right next to him, your grandma's pumping the keg. I'm watching them, I'm watching them. We love the drink, man, because you know what? It makes you, hey, it changes you. All of a sudden, you start becoming more passionate. Sober, sober nothing. Do you love me? Ah, uh, see, man. That's why I didn't want to bring you. How come you never tell me you love me? You know what, size gay, that, eh? I didn't come here to be quizzed. Do you love me? Hey, I'm here, ain't I? Where am I going? Where am I going? All my tools at your mom's house, I ain't going nowhere. Insecure. But when you're drunk, it all comes out. First you get all topeo, you know. Babe, 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 And I'm not crying, I'm frustrated. <laughs> and don't leave because I'll kill you. <laughs> and when you're in love, I, your family won't tell you, you know, nothing. He hits her, hey, she's happy. <laughs> He's got a nice car, Mira, he takes you to work. She can take a couple of scrapes, nombre. I told her to go like that. <laughs> so that's why with Latino guys, especially because our moms treat us like, you know, we're princes, man. They carry us, you know, seven years old. <laughs> no, he's seven. He can't walk. <laughs> they put you down. Your legs aren't even formed. Yo. You're like a newborn pony. I told you he can't walk, he's seven. <laughs> the women in the family do all the and the boys don't do a thing. <laughs> so then when we grow up, we're detached emotionally because, you know, we're used to our mothers, man. Do you love me? Hey, don't be, hey, Sasuke, if you don't like it, hey. Who took you to Red Lobster? <laughs> Did I use a coupon? All right then. <laughs> but now you see Latinas with white dudes, married and children, huh? Yeah, I can't blame them. They want to be homeowners too. <laughs> you stay with us, you'll be renting your whole life. I told you, when my mom dies, we get the house. That's why I don't work. I gotta be close by. 
What if she dies and I'm at work? How am I going to get the house? <laughs> but white women, because your aunts, oh no. Your aunts are like, ah, mira que trajo Jorge, why? <laughs> Britney Spears, ¿cómo se llama? <laughs> and everything she has on, they make fun of. They just look for something. Look at that painted toes. Painted toes. Hey, look. I could paint my toes too, bitch. I just don't have the baby nail. It fell. I don't know what happened. And when you go, they charge you for 10, even if you don't have the baby nail. So I used to just paint the skin, but it looked bad. But from far away, you couldn't tell that it was skin. But up close, you could say it looked like sausage with red. <laughs> and they love to dye their hair. One thing about Latinas now is now they have highlights. What are those highlights? Highlights. What's up? Highlights. I had an aunt that was blonder than the blonde, I mean, platinum. Darker than me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With platinum and black eyebrows. But in her mind, she was fine. When she was young, she was fine. But then she got older, she got fat. She was little already, but she was like 5'2", 240. With jean shorts. Uh -huh. You know when the camel toe goes all the way from the front to the back? <laughs> Tia, take off the shorts! I'm little! You're just jealous. What's that? Why? Because you're jealous? What's that? Why? What's that? Huh? No, man. You're losing your appetite? What's that? And a halter top. <laughs> you know when your chichis are smaller than your stomach, that don't look right, does it? <laughs> but she thought everybody was jealous of her. Tia, cover yourself. Why are you jealous? What's <laughs> Look at how it shakes after I stop. And every time she went to the bathroom, she would tuck her dress into her pantyhose. So now she's walking with all her nalgas hanging out her ass. That's my song, what the? And we went to New York, what the? And the thong wouldn't even be in the crack, thong. Nobody tell her, nobody tell her, nobody tell her. <laughs> dale, tía, dale. <laughs> and my grandmother would yell, Cochina, put that dog in the middle. <laughs> no, mama, because it hurts. It feels like it's tearing me in half. Como me estoy rompiendo la. Like this, I can't dance. Aye! But like this, me the oh, nine. Plus, I don't want to get it dirty. My aunts were never sexual ladies. They didn't, first of all, they didn't look sexy. They were little, they were dark. You know, they wore slippers during the day, you know. You ever seen your aunt walk out of the slippers? She'd be
That one won't stay on. I gotta clip my nails, but it's cute. They all had a lot of kids, and you couldn't understand why because they all had it. But when they ate, they used to make ribs, and they'd be in the backyard. You just see them. Put sauce. Put sauce. And my uncle would sit at the picnic table. Hey, how come you don't do me like that? And my hands wouldn't even miss a beat. You know what? Because this bone's. It's a totally different culture, and I don't give a how much money you make. You will always be who you are, and always be where you come from. Nothing changes. Nothing changes, or nothing should change. You should always be. I don't give a how much money you have. Be the way you were when you were growing up, and you will always be happy. But you know, in the old days, in the 70s, there were like nine Mexicans. There weren't as many as there was now. There wasn't a phone book in Spanish. You know, there was like Channel 34, Calambre. You would speak Spanish and the people, eh, ¿sabes qué? Está caliente. Oh my God, what's going on over there? Hey! You're not an Ensenada. Now, 39 million in the United States. 39 million. Million. And that, that can't be an exact figure because when you knock on our door, we never open it. If you knock, we hide. Who's that? Who's that bitch? Who's that bitch? Don't answer it, Gilbert. Don't answer it! From way across the other side of the house, you see the window move. With a little mirror. All the fast food restaurants? Latinos. Everyone. Jack in the Box? All Latinos. You have to speak Spanish to get a hamburger. I'm sorry. Um, is this Jack in the Box? Can I hear you? You want some shit? <laughs> um, hi, can I have a jumbo jack? Okay, you want a jumbo yak? <laughs> jumbo yak, I don't... I don't think there's a Y in jack. <laughs> ¿Quiere queso? I'm sorry, ¿se quiere queso? I say, do you want a shiz? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, you want a guayam ya con queso? You want papa frita? You want a frame frying? Frame frying. Do you want a frame frying? Um, my friends are fine, thanks. And this is how you throw them off. What kind of fountain drinks do you have? Excuse me? What kind of fountain drinks do you have? One minute, please.
Rudy, este vato me está diciendo fountain drink, what is it? What is? What it is? Fountain drink, what is it? What is? What is it? What it is? What is? No, what is? What it is? Es soda. Es soda. ¿Por qué no me dijo soda? He tell me fountain drink like I'm a stupid. Why no say soda, stupid? Son of a bitch. We got a soda, stupid. And we do things totally different. I mean, when we buy a house, we add on to the house, and we never hire an uh, uh, architect or a contractor. There was a dude that added a bathroom to, the, to his to house. He lives next door to me. He had a surveyor out there in an orange vest in the middle of the street with a tripod, and he's got the vest. <laughs> Jeremy, do you have 23.7 azimuth? Fantastic. My grandfather added a bathroom to the house I grew up in. He just went out there with his boxers on. Don't they? Tell me where. <laughs> tell me where, because the man's on his way. Tell me where. Well, go put a bra on and come out and tell me. He would close one eye until he saw his nephew. Dale, dale, dale. Mas, ma, right there, right there, stand right there. Mark it. You know, I had to have the roof fixed at my house, and I, I, they said the insurance company sent me a check for $23,000. I cashed it. I started spending that day. I didn't know it was for the guy for the roof. Right away, so I'm going to buy everything. Like, How much are those? Hey, 500? Oh, really? Then the guy comes, oh, hi, I'm Ray the Roofer. Do you have my check that the insurance guy... That was yours? <laughs> Wait a minute. Eh? Let me go back to Circuit City. I got a ticket. <laughs> so I hire a contractor for the first time in my life because back home, we just hired whoever wasn't working. <laughs> you know? So Ray the Roofer, I give him a check for $23,000. He disappears. 15 Mexicans show up at my house. I said, I could have done that. And they're, they're on the roof. They don't even have a ladder. They don't even have it. I don't know how they got on the roof. They climbed the fence. So they're all tied together with one rope. And you can hear them on top. No me pushes way. So they're on the roof, and it's about 110 degrees. So I, I go get them water. I said, you know what? I can't leave my people out there saying, I was, you know, the water hose doesn't reach. I said, I better get them. So I go to Costco. I bring them Arrowhead. I got a little sport pot. I'll pull the top. So I go home. Nobody's on the roof, but the, the ropes are hanging. I said, oh, They fell off. Now I'm going to go in the backyard. They're going to be tirados. Señor, I... Good night, Juan Juan. So I go to the, the backyard, nobody. But I hear music. With the bad bass speaker. And I hear. And then you hear the song over. Nobody in the backyard. I go, all 15 dudes are in the calzones and they're swimming in my pool. <laughs> Drinking Bud Light. <laughs> so I'm standing in the doorway. And the guy goes, hey, jump in, the man's not home. When Latino people don't think you have 
That's that's what hurts. I can be mistaken for a valet by a white dude. I expect that. <laughs> but when your own raza thinks that you know, what time they close? I don't work. Your But now with the show, people recognize where I go, and they're very nice, you know. Oh my God! Oh my God! You're Gelo. Oh my God! Oh my God! Kelsey, it's Gelo. It's the one we like. Don't cry. But Mexican people are the hardest to convince because they don't believe anything. They first, of, first of all, they look at you from far. Is that here, man? What's up? I thought you said he was fat, eh? If that's him, he's been hitting the pipa. He looks emancipated. Come on, say, eh? That vato looks all emancipated, eh? So then they walk sideways. You ever seen cholos walk sideways? What's up? Like a crab. Are you Joe Lopez, eh? Are you Joe Lopez? No, I'm George Lopez. See, that's not him. And black people just look. They don't even move. They... Everybody here, and this being filmed for Showtime, this is the best. Right now, this moment right now, is the best. Right now. <clears throat> hey, it made all those years of growing up and swimming in the trash can because <laughs> they didn't want to give me 35 cents to go to the pool. You remember, remember? You remember? Remember swimming in the trash can? Every sentence. Hey, remember that time we went? You remember, remember? Remember all the time. Remember the first time that you went to Disneyland and you were like, <laughs> Mira, take a look around because we're not coming back. You better remember all of the things, the mouse and the lady mouse and the goofy one that looks like your tío Alberto. Dun, dun, dun. Look around. And you would have to lie about your age. Today you're five. I'm seven, then don't go. Then, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Then don't go. Mira, duck down, pretend, think five, mira, five, five. And the worst part when you went to Disneyland is all the you wanted, they told you they had at home. I want apple juice, mira, we have it at the house. You should have drank some before we left. Four dollars from by the way, apple juice, that's loco. Drink water and pretend it's apple juice, mira, use your, you're in fantasy land, use your fantasy. So I wanted the ears that, that's, that they embroider your name, George. That's what I wanted. So I follow my grandmother all day waiting for the right time, you know. So then when we start to leave, she's walking. Come on, you know, 10 o'clock, you're throwing us out. <laughs> Grandma, what, what do you want? Can you buy me a souvenir? A souvenir? <laughs> a souvenir. You didn't save your ticket? <laughs> that's a souvenir, Mira, it has the time and the day. Why are you crying now? You lost it? What do you want? What hat? Kip, 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 kip. What hat? What hat? The hat with the ears and they put your name. The hat, do they have hats here? 
In Disneyland, I didn't see tinted hats. What? 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 With the ears, I come. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Your ears stick out more than a hat. I'll get an eyebrow pencil and write Jorge. Let's go. You're lucky we brought you. I want a souvenir. Está loco. There'll be nine kids and one churro. What kind of is that? Lick it and pass it. Lick it. What well, the you then? Lick it and pass it. Take a bite and see what's gonna happen. Lick it and pass it. There's no sugar. Watch out. Lick it and pass it. Remember all of that stuff because once once our kids grow up, first of all, they probably don't speak Spanish. You talk about tira la basura. Oh God! Oh my God! That sounded like so Mexican. What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> and you know what? Allow them to dream. That's the most important thing. Is look, no one ever told me I could with my life. They told me the opposite. That look, I'll be a comedian. I'm funnier than you. <laughs> whatever child you have, whatever age they are. Encourage them to do better than you, and to go to school, and to dream, and become whatever they want. From the time, from the time I was 11 years old, the first time I saw Freddie Prinze, I wanted to be a comedian. 1973, the summer, July of 73. 31 years later, I got my own show on TV. Hey. Dream and dream big, because there's been three Latinos in the history of TV who have ever led a show. One is Desi Arnaz, one is Freddie Prinze.